join me in today's episode of Radio Escuela, a science lesson for grade 5 pupils, quarter 3, week 6. We are going to study about simple electric circuit, parts, and basic function. I am your teacher, Mr. Gerald L. Tabasa, science teacher from Ginlahon Elementary School, Sorsogon City Division. The most essential learning competency is infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Are you ready, my dear pupils? Please feel comfortable in your workspace. Prepare your pen, a piece of paper, and your learning activity sheet in science. Look around your house. How many appliances do you have? Yes, you're right. There's TV, radio, and many more. Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity in our everyday lives. Am I right? But, my dear pupils, have you ever wondered how does electricity flow to your appliances? Hmm, paano nga kaya? Well, there are two conditions necessary in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. For example, generators or batteries. Second, there must be a complete path for electricity to flow through. What does it mean? Okay, let us analyze the illustration. Try to look closely in the illustration. An electric circuit has four parts. A source like battery, wires, switch, and light bulb or load. These are the components of simple electric circuit that needs to be present so that there is a complete path of electricity to flow through. Very good! Now that you see the parts of electric circuit, thus let us now identify the parts of simple electric circuit and its function. The first part is source. It is the source of electricity. Examples are generators and batteries. Second, switch. It controls the flow of electricity from the source. It is used to turn on or turn off a load like the light bulb. Third, wire or path. It is the pathway of electricity from the source to the load. Example, electric wires and cords. Lastly, load. It is the appliance or device that uses electricity from a source. Examples are computers, radios, and light bulbs. Okay, so those are the parts of a simple electric circuit. My dear pupils, let us remember that those parts should be present for us to use our appliances comfortably. All right, let's try if you are really listening well. 
For us to use an electric fan, what are the conditions that need to meet? Yes, we need to have a source of electricity. So, we have to plug it in an outlet. And then, electricity will pass through the wires or path. Then, we can finally use the electric fan. Dear pupils, after using the electric fan or other electric appliances, what are you going to do? Of course, switch it off and unplug from the outlet so that it will not overheat or have a short circuit that may cause fire. Yes, being responsible in using all electric appliances is a very important attitude and practice that a pupil like you should observe in your house, in our school, or in your community. Okay, do you understand now the parts of a simple electric circuit? Very good! Alright, let's have a practice exercise. Kindly answer using your learning activity sheet or in a clean sheet of paper. Given the pictures below, label the parts and give the function of the parts of the simple electric circuit. Write your answers on the blank. For numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, let us check your answer. For number 1, the answer is load or light bulb. Its function is that it is the device or appliance that uses electricity from a source. Number two, the correct answer is switch. Its function is it controls the flow of electricity from the source or it is also used to turn on or turn off a load. For number three, the correct answer is path or wire. Its function is that it is the pathway of electricity from the source to the load. Finally, for number four, the correct answer is source. Its function is that it is the source of electricity. Now, get ready for evaluation. Get a piece of paper or in your last itself, you are going to write a brief essay at least three to five sentences on why it is important to switch off appliances when they are not in use. Okay, let us check your answer. In the evaluation part, in three to five sentences, why it is important to switch off appliances when they are not in use. So, the answer is, we have to switch it off so that we can avoid possible overheating or short circuit of a device. Moreover, we could prolong the usability of our household appliances. Finally, we can save electricity. That's all for today. I hope you learned from me and I was able to help you in answering your learning activity sheet. 
This is Sir Gerald saying, keep safe and enjoy your learning while you are in your home. Soon, we will meet again. God bless!